22, verse 28. Last time we was on the air, we was talking about adultery. Talking about fornication. Talking about camp doctrines. Camp doctrines cannot go up against biblical law. Your camp leader, your camp, your, your assembly, or whoever you're affiliated with, cannot keep these commandments. It doesn't mean anything. Like it says in First John. If you say you know him and you keep out the commandments, you're alive. Mm -hmm. So let us keep the commandments of faith in your hour in your hour child. Keep the faith of your hour child. God. And love one another as most I commanded us in the Bible, so that we will be worthy to see this new Jerusalem and get into this new kingdom. Deuteronomy chapter twenty two, verse twenty eight, once again says a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold of her, and he lie with her. And they be found, then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver. And he shall and he shall be and she shall be his wife. You see that? He didn't say concubine, lay up woman, woman you met in the camp, and y'all laying up, and you ain't married. No, he didn't say this either. Fornication is straight across the line with the commandments of the Most High. You cannot lay down with a woman unless you take her to be your wife. Period. Mm -hmm. Now, you got some camps out here. I get the reports. They call the school all the time, crying, moaning about brothers, standing up there thinking he's some king. You ain't a king yet. Neither am I. And they tell these sisters, and they're still out there in the world. And they get these sisters, and some of them get them pregnant. They got sisters pregnant. They didn't matter. That's fornication across the line. It doesn't matter what you can't do to say. It doesn't matter the situation. You're in an assembly or a camp or a congregation of Israel, and they're practicing this. It's sin. And it says, because he has come with her, he should not put her away all of his days. You've been put away for unrighteousness, sister, that's out there. The whole is going to bring you there to the base and give you some edification mm -hmm. to overcome this. And then you're going to look faithfully and lawfully to the Most High, to Yahweh Shah, so he can have you get to this new kingdom also. So this is what the Most High wants us to do and teach our people. Let's go to the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 6. A lot of this is going on. A lot of this is going on right now. The wisdom of Solomon... Uh, it talks about this children and beds and women and trouble. Wisdom of Solomon. That's why Paul said, in this time, we have trouble. Why? Look at the government that we are under. They give women rights to have abortions. They don't promote uh, in the Roman Church, Baptist Church, Seventh-day Adventist Church, and these four houses our people are in, they do not practice the laws of the Most High, neither do they refrain from teaching that. You see the little girls going to Catholic schools, they got dresses all up in their butts, walking down the street. Why? Because that's a whore religion. And the ones teaching these sisters that are in the whore. So these whore all over the planet Earth right now. Let's go to the book of Tobit. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, rather. Uh, chapter 4, and we'll start at verse 6. It says this. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 6. It is written, For children begotten of unlawful beds, or wickedness, witnesses of wickedness against their parents in their trial. You hear that? Mm -hmm. So, I heard a sister the other day when he was talking about this abortion thing. This sister got, uh, mother got raped. And this is what's going on in this sinful and adulterous world. Mm. And the sister was born from a rapist. Rapist in the Bible condemned. Must be put to death. So these are the things that Yahweh said in this right last day you're going to see. The unrighteousness of these nations and amongst us right now, who were given the law, and Gentile minds, and 
combinations of sin. You can't see that. See what it says here? So if you lay down with a sister, not married, and you have these children, these children are coming there out of wedlock. And if these children come out of wedlock, then the curses of the law come upon them. So let's go to the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 12. Tobit. Mm -hmm. Chapter 4, verse 12. What did we tell y'all last time? Most I said, when you get married, what are you supposed to do? According to the law. Let's go into the scriptures and show you this. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of brothers got camps, and they got camps going crazy. And they got things going up and side down, and they're not forcing anything. These rules and regulations of the Bible must be enforced because this is how we're going to get out of here by the grace and mercy of the Most High Yahweh Shema Shah. And he does not cut any corners. So if we cut the corners, we have to repent and be born again and come back to the Most High uh, to Yahweh Shah and keep these things as written in this book. But the time is at hand. So the most high you may come back here and do some works on this earth and you see it now. Let's go to Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. It is written. It says this. This is the advice that they gave the brothers back then. It says, Beware of all hoardings. Are our people on hoardings right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Beware, saith Yahweh Basham Hashem, of Hordas, Mother's Day, Easter, New Year's, Christmas, mm -hmm. Halloween, That's right. All Saints Day, Sunday service in church. Be careful. These are all Hordas. Mm -hmm. Democracy, Republicanism, Communism, mm -hmm. Islam, Seven Day Adventists. All right, moves along, all hoarders, and all these religions and doctrines of devils are in our people right now. Mm -hmm. So he said, beware of hoarders of our people. And our people got a lot of hoarders going on right now, and the hoarders are going to be smashed in these last days, because Yahweh is not going to have that coming into the kingdom, and neither is that going to save you. See what it says here? Uh... Verse 12, beware of all hoarders, see what it says? Mm -hmm. My son, and chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. Wait a minute. Is this a racist statement? Mm -hmm. Damn right it is. Yes, it is. Who was our forefathers? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He had the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel are these people here from Judah down to Endicott. And all the ones in between. He said, marry your own people. Why? Mm -hmm. Israel brings forth Israel. Ham brings forth Ham. Japheth brings forth Japheth. Esau, Edom brings forth Edomites. Do y'all understand that? The bubblehead Negroes must in the Puerto Rico, they don't understand that. They don't understand that the forefathers and who you are and the promises the most I've made to us is going to come upon your children. And we're going to show you tonight the whoredoms our people are in are going to get them cut off. Because when the Hawabah Shemar Shah come back here, he ain't going to be looking for Gentiles. He's going to be looking for the seed of Israel and those keeping the commandments and the faith to save them. And if you are in a whoredoms church, Hordom group been raised up in hordoms. It's time to repent and reject them hordoms around your people. I live around Gentiles and our people around the school. We don't deal with none of them. We persuade the brothers to come in here and we stay away from the Gentiles. There's a big Caesar board down the road right here where I live at. A big statue of the Queen of Heaven. I don't go down there messing with that stuff because I know better according to the law. See? And this is what the Most High told us. Watch out for orders and take not a strange woman to wife. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to show the picture right here. <laughs> but 
But that's what the most I say. Stop marrying these other nations. That's right. And a lot of you brothers online, I'll see in your body. You're a bunch of scoundrels. Mm -hmm. You ain't in with a bunch of Hamite women going to the land of Africa and then you call him the most high Ahaya. His name is not Ahaya, it's Raya or Wayalaya. Y'all got everything twisted up because you got false prophets over you, man. Reading the Hebrew backwards, teaching Hebrew wrong. Some of y'all can't even read Hebrew and don't want to read it. Because you got the wrong teachers. You ain't got the teachings of their life. Mm -hmm. See? You got these old Judaism Swedes groups out here, and you got the ones out here trying to be a, 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 a denomination congregation but they profess it to be Israel. Yeah. I know you're that big purple brand brothers up there in the hall. I know them brothers, and I've seen them brothers, and I try to contact them brothers, and they don't want to talk to nobody that taught them. Right. Is that against the doctrine of Yahweh Shah? Yes, yes, it, it is. Because now you're becoming a cult and not a brother. And if you want to go ahead and keep following that mess, wait till Judgment Day comes to the USA and look who's going to be standing with the Son of Man. Is it going to be the liars or the true ones that keep the truth? Time will tell. And it says here, uh, a strange woman of wife, which is not of thy father's tribe, for we are the children of the prophets, no Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Wait, wait a minute. Did they say that in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. See? Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even they all that married wives of their own kindred, and were blessed in their children. You hear that? You get blessings when you keep the commandments of Yahweh. Right. When you go take a Hamite wife, I know brothers that got Hamite wives, them damn kids came out attacking them. You know why? Because them damn Hamites got demons in them. They women are in the food and witchcraft. And you put your seed in there, your baby is in there fighting demons the whole time they're in the womb. And when the baby comes out, it's attacking you. Why? Because of that damn wicked mother you got. Mm -hmm. And you got the nerve to talk about you a Hebrew Israelite. Where, where are you keeping the commandments at? The moral laws of, of marriage. You're a liar. You're a false group and false prophets. I even heard some of them brothers out there, sisters, Born to be with 14 year old girls in their congregation. 14 year old girls. Mm. And I asked the sister, what is, what's the name of the group? I can't tell you. I said, well, you condemn and you part of that. Just save the Lord. And you know what happened to her? Save the Lord. And she got put to death. Because Yahweh don't play it. We're telling you what Yahweh says. We're not telling you what I say. Y'all getting mad at me because I'm rough. Wait till the Lord come down here in Judgment Day. I'm going to be on the ground screaming. The most I'm going to be playing, man. That's why I'm coming to y'all like this. See what it says here? Remember, my son, that thy fathers from the beginning, even they, they were married wives of their own kindred and were blessing their children and their seed shall inherit the land. Now therefore, my son, love thy brethren, and despise not in thy heart thy brethren, and sons and daughters of thy people, and not taking a wife of them, for in pride is destruction and much trouble, and in lewdness is decay and great want, for lewdness is a mother of famines. Mm. Biblical ethics. I live by that. I want an Israelite woman, and I got an Israelite woman. Right. I want my kids to look like Israelite. Right. Nappy head, beautiful yeah. brown skin, big nose, big lips, and look like us. Israelites. Mm -hmm. And our people should look like Israelites. That's right. Like Gentiles, mixed, and all of that madness, man. <laughs> See what it says here? This is why the Lord said that. So you take a wife. These are biblical ethics. What the Howard Shah said. Let's go to the book of 
told it in 16. What do you wait for? Young brothers, you go look for a wife, you heard the law. Now look for a woman like this. Don't try to get a hoochie mama, and don't get the woman with the tightest pants, and the biggest butts, and the biggest mouths, because there ain't nothing. Later on down the road, you're going to be in child support court, paying out of your behind, and leaving, living in a crate. So, here we go right here. The book of Tobit, chapter 8, verse 6. Thou made him Adam and gave him room Eve. Who he gave to? Adam and Eve. Did it say Adam and Steve? Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm. Did it say Eve and Eve? So what the hell is the United States government doing? Mm -hmm. Faggots got men taking drugs so they can grow, grow, grow breasts mm. and cutting off their penises and go in a nightclub and you pick that thing up. Mm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, what is that? And you reach down there, mm. man, mm -hmm. this is a wicked mm. world. Or you got some woman, I see lesbians. I see lesbians. When they see me, I'll be coming up, I'll be walking up on them, I'll look at them like that. They look at me like, a minute. And I'll look right in their eyes. I see you're a damn dice. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not a man, you're a woman. That's right. Take them damn pants off, and they're wearing hats backwards, damn big old baseball shirts, and they're staring at you, what's up? Ain't nothing up. Right. Ain't nothing up, woman. Right. You are a woman. And got the nerve to have kids, and you got that stuff going on in the house with the kids looking at you. Shame! Come on! Amongst our people. And they want us to accept that. Israelites don't accept that. Mm -hmm. The Howard doesn't accept it. That's right. What's the scheme to them is how the man is an abomination to your house. Because all of that's an abomination. And he hates that. That's why he put their asses to death. And he says, gave him Eve, his wife. A what? Wife. For an helper. See, we go back to the old past. A woman's going to be your helper. Look for a helper. Look for somebody in your tribe. And look for this. Matthew 19, 5 and 6. Because Yahweh Shah said this. When you do get married, do this and you will be blessed. Go to Matthew chapter 19, verse 5 and 6. Now, you can't go over what Yahweh Shah said because it's all in this Bible and it's red. Look in this Bible right here. What does it say right here? And, for, and he said, for this call shall a man leave father and mother, your mama boys living home, showing you on TV. This is why you don't watch these shows that's ran by these so-called Jewish people. Because mm -hmm. they flip the whole family group around in the order of Yahweh, to Yahweh Shah on our people. Look at Bill Cosby. Where is he now? Pervert. Mm -hmm. Knocking out women. Family man, we told y'all back in the 90s, that was a plot, wasn't it? We said, how many of you Negroes was in the Puerto Rican Jackson daddy at home? How many of y'all got a degree and your wife and you were working? Not many. Everybody in the crowd stood there like this. I said, but you know what's going on amongst y'all? I'm going to show y'all what's going on amongst you. And we held this sign up just like this. I said, here it is. The black woman by herself with a house full of kids. That's what's going on. Black woman in slavery by herself. The ones over here sold as whores. The black man, you're a porn star. You and every white woman's ass on the planet. That's where y'all at right now. The slaves and you mental slaves. And you all up in the damn white woman like you making progress, you making regress, man. And that's where they defecate at, and the black man is all up in her. Doing all type of wicked stuff, man. They wicked. Our people are ignorant, and they still haven't woken up to the truth yet. See? So he said in Matthew chapter 19, verse 5, and shall cleave to his what? His wife. And they twain shall be one flesh. Why do you think you got so many good divorces out here now? Huh? Why do you think everybody end up on the Jerry Springer show and all the rest of these Maury Corbin shows? Where is your daddy? 
How many men you had? Black woman, man means who's a father? You don't even know. It's a shame. Mm-hmm. And then these brothers come out on the stage beating each other up because you don't know which one of these damn men lay with your woman. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Mm-hmm. And that's why our people are at today. See what it says here? And he said, for this cause, we read that, verse 6, wherefore they are no more twain to the what? Flesh. For what? Wherefore Yahweh has joined together, let no man put asunder. Mm-hmm. Don't let no man come between you and your wife. Mm-hmm. Nobody. You keep people out of your circle. I got a family circle. Don't nobody come in there unless I tell you to. Because that's the way Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh told us to live our lives in Him through the Most High. You have a wife, y'all become one. Meaning you agree and you disagree and you love each other and you both keep the commandments and the man is ahead of the wife and the wife and the man work together to raise the kids. We need to go back to those statutes mm-hmm. That's right. in order for us to build our nation. But right now our nation is in shame. And it's a damn shame the way some of our people look at our nation. Go to Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. This is an honorable thing to do. Where's the honorable brothers at? Come join the base. <laughs> Let's go to Hebrews, right? <laughs> Show you what the apostles wrote. They wrote about these glory things of glory, things of your hallows uh liking. And this is what they wrote and left on this earth so we can have this in the last days. Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13, New Testament time. Verse 4, marriage is honorable in all. What did we show you marriage was? Get a woman from your tribe, get a helpmate, get somebody of your nation, and get your certificate and a ceremony, have your mother and father, father and mother, bless you and your breath and a, a marriage, come before the priest, and we'll pray for you. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it according to the law. See? And that stops fornication and madness. Mm-hmm. It stops it. Because that's order of the Most High, and then you'll be blessed and your children. See what it says here? In verse 4. But whoremongers and adulterers, Yahweh shall what? Shall kill. That's why the adulterers get killed. That's why the faggots are dying. That's why the people that uh, mess with other men's wives get put to death. That's why the women that go out there, going away from her husband, they get put to death. Because of the disorder in marriage, and the disorder in the home, and the disorder in the families. Now, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 7. We spoke about other nations and strange women amongst us, right? Mm-hmm. Let's show you why the most I said that. Y'all didn't think this was in the Bible, huh? <laughs> You're gonna find out there's a lot of stuff in there you need to know about. And I'm here to teach you. I'm gonna be patient with you. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 7, and we're gonna start at verse 3. It is written. This is what Moses said to the children of Israel, all 12 tribes of us coming up out the land of Egypt. During the time of Pithom and Ramses, and we were living in the Galilean of Goshen, going into the land of Israel, the promised land. He said this, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, and we're going to start at uh, verse 2. We're going to start. And when Yahweh shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them. And thou shalt utterly destroy them. Thou shalt not make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. He was talking about who? And when the Lord your power shall bring thee to the land where thou goest to possess it, and hast cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, the Gergeshites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites. These are the people of Mandela. Mm-hmm. Today they will be known as the South Africans. That's right. They were dwelling in the Holy Land when we came up out of Egypt. They brown-skinned nations diverse from you. And when we went in there, the Lord said, destroy their butts. 
Thou shalt make no covenants with them, nor show mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. That pertains to all nations other than Israel. Okay? Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Uh oh, I told you I was going to throw out this picture. I'll see, that, that's for last. Rainbow Junction. Rainbow Junction. What happened to this? You see this? This is oil. Mm -hmm. You see this? Two Hebrews, two Gadites, two Zebulonites, right. two Ephraimites right. bring forth Israel. The tribes bring forth the tribe. Now, if you end up with women, you're going to bring forth a disease. AIDS. If you faggot ass black men are in the damn white men, you're going to bring forth a disease. That's right. If y'all with more white women, brothers, mm -hmm. that's against the law. Janet Jackson, Jackson, was with an Arab dude. Brought forth an Arabic baby. Poor! Serena Williams. Had a white man's baby. Poor. Negro up here with Miss Ann. You know who Miss Ann is, right? No. Miss Ann is the so-called white woman. Miss Ann. That's what we call Miss Ann up north. Miss Ann in the Carolina is called Miss Ann. You are not supposed to marry none of mm -hmm. these nations, the nation of Israel. That's right. It's against the law. Why did the Lord say not to do that? Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter shall not be given to his son, nor his daughter shall thy take unto thy son. It goes both ways. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to marry more about Chinese, Japanese, East right. Indian, Arab, right. Spaniards, right. Greeks, and all the rest of them nations, whatever they call themselves. You're not supposed to marry any of them. Your right. daughters and sons are not supposed to take them amongst you. Why? Well, they will turn away thy sons from following me. You hear that? Mm -hmm. That's why the Negro West and the Puerto Rican, ancient Dominican, that's why you like people. You look like this now. What, what the hell is all of this, man? Eh? How are we going to come together? But everybody is in the hoarder. I told you brothers, when you're going out there speaking to our people, the Lord said, go out there in Ezekiel chapter 33 and warn them of the wrath to come. If they in this and they don't repent, they're going to get destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's our mission. Yes. He said, do not let them follow those nations because they will turn you from following me. These are not Israelite looking Israelites, are they? Mm -mm. No. Where in the Bible the Lord told us to wear a damn kufi on our head? Where he told us to build a potter's house? Where he told us to get into these political things and get in a conscious group? Who the hell told y'all that, that Yahweh being Yahweh was Yahweh shot? Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Mark with the king had a dream. Jeremiah 23, 25, he got his head thrown off. Mm -hmm. You know where all this stuff is coming from on Sunday morning? Right here in this politically quarter, so-called mega church, right here. The mega churches, and we're going to go to a mega church when we get our mm -hmm. brothers together. And we're going to stand out there, we're going to send scouts out there to hand out flyers everywhere. We have flyers flying all over the around the church. Right. Then we're gonna march around the church like the walls of Jericho, chant the most high name, and we're gonna have a picture of Caesar Borgia, and we're gonna walk around with a sign. We're gonna walk around the church, and when they come out, we're gonna say, Pastor, bring your ass out here right now. And when he come out there, we're gonna throw the picture on the ground, stomp it in the ground, and say, This ain't Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna hold up the black Yahweh shot and say, Yahweh shot looks like this. And your Howard Shah coming back like this. And your Howard Shah is the king of kings, and he looks like us, not these damn white people. And we're going to put their behinds on, on the spot. Then we're going to start trying to recruit their people to come join us. Right. That's what a prophet's job is. That's 
trial. To take you from the ignorance and bring you into the light. Huh. That's right. And we're going to go to people with a flavor, and they built these mega churches, and we're going to go in there and steal every last one of your candidates that want to hear the truth and join the Most High, and That's we're right. going to bring them to our place, and God. the Most High going to save them. Why, you're going to get blown up in Judgment Day in your whorehouse, so-called mega church. That's where they hit it. That jackasses, the money launderers, and all the rest of them. And this guy here, you know, jackass. I see. I see. Every Sunday, I'm on the damn line talking about I see. I see. What we going to do today? Hey, praise the Lord. Remember, uh, remember back in the 80s? We had the damn Reverend Ike. And from Reverend Ike came I am Sharpton. Jesse Jackass, and all the rest of them old phony, money laundering, pimp daddy Negroes with big damn statues and big limousines while everybody in the congregation was starving and walking around with ten rings on their damn finger. This is coming to an end. And Yahweh said, don't marry these people. Don't take their daughters and their sons under you because they will turn you from following me. See that? And they may serve their God, other gods. Yeah, that's why people have right now. We showed y'all. So will the angel of your hollow be kindled against you and destroy these selling. Why do you think we destroy it as a nation? Mm-hmm. Huh? You talking about build Ukraine. The hell with Ukraine. Ukraine is filled up with so-called Jewish white people and white people over here in this country support Jewish white people. Don't y'all see that? And these damn white people been warned since World War One, World War Two. Now we're going into World War Three. That's why the Howard gonna destroy them because they're corrupt. Mm -hmm. Can Satan cast out Satan? Mm -mm. You got two world rulers, Putin and Biden. Can Satan cast out Satan? Mm -hmm. No, he can't. The hollow gonna cast his butt. And when the time comes, and we gotta get these laws in us to stop doing what? Because we got a history of marrying these other nations. <laughs> Let's go to first Ezra chapter eight and verse sixty-nine. Hey, look at this. This is way back in the old testament. Go to a so-called pastor and show him this. He he won't know what the hell you're talking about. First Ezra, chapter 8, verse 69. Let's go there. Here you go right in. The nation of Israel. Wait a minute. Did it say nation of Israel? Did it say nation of denomination? Did it say the nation of seven day Adventists? No. It said the nation of Israel. It didn't say the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of these 12 tribes. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Shemaim, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, God, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, Hezekiah. The nation of Israel. Where are they? The princes and the priests and the Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land. Have we come from among them yet? No, our people have not. Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. <laughs> Where y'all get this from? Huh? Seminary schools. Kwanzaa. False prophets. All these degrees. Where y'all get this Indian stuff from? From your forefathers who used to worship Baal. So all our people today are in an ignorant state. As it says in uh, Daniel chapter 9 verse 11 on down. All Israel has sinned and broke thy laws. All of us has time for us to repent. So the whoredom is here, the ignorance is here, and the pollution is here. And our people are in doctrines and devils, and they in what? They in love with strangers. See what it says there? Not put away from them the strange people of the land, nor the pollution of the Gentiles. God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus loves everybody. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Don't our people, people preach this garbage? Here it is. Sunday morning service going under the damn boots. See what it says here? No the pollution of the Gentiles to wit of the Canaanites, a lot of y'all in the Africanism, Hittites, Gergesites, Jebusites, Moabites, <laughs> Philly Blanks. Where's Philly Blanks at? Philly Blanks got him a Moabite woman. And yeah, we're getting personal. Yes, we are. So the Lord told us, come out and tell you whether you like it or not. Moabites, Negroes, mixing in your holy seed with the Gentiles is a sin. Mm-hmm. Okay? Moabites. That's right. Egyptians. Yeah, y'all going to the land of Chad, picking up them dark, pretty black women over there called Amites. But they're not Israelites. Mm-hmm. And you got a lot of brothers online, I keep telling y'all, you're not allowed in the faith with that. a Gentile wife. That's right. You must divorce her if you are a man of the truth. And you brothers that got Miss Ann, Moab, Ishmael, and all the rest of them. And you down low brothers, drop dead. Yep. You can't come in here with that. That's right. You want to die low. Because you're an abomination, okay? And it says here, and Edomites. Uh oh. <laughs> Did we tell you about Edomites and we're Edomites? Miss Ann. Yeah. All white people are so-called Edomites. Right. And you brothers are leaving your princesses to go with the dogs. That's right. And I hope you get fleas. Because dogs have fleas and they got mange, right? You give these white women to come back with all types of diseases and mange on your body because these people eat and go to bed with dogs. White women go to bed with dogs! Mm-hmm. And y'all want them all up in your damn body. And they left then. They had that damn revolution back in the 1900s. Look at black, look at white women now. They used to wear their dresses and be up under there. Now the white woman wearing pants ain't got equal rights to a faggot society. Roe versus Wade. All that stuff is protest. They should have locked all them damn women up back then. But who didn't do it? The white man. Why? Because he's an effeminate, backsliding sinner. Devil. That's right. That's why they did that. And your woman is out of control because of, of their women. And they got our women walk, running behind this liberty. And now everybody going to bed with each other. Yeah, you can roll around and sin. But look what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Look what the most high did to Sodom and Gomorrah. He destroyed it like he's going to destroy America and the rest of the nations. Mm-hmm. Because it's immoral, wicked, and corrupt. So he said, Israel did not put away these nations, for both they and their sons have married with their daughters. And the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. Y'all hear that? Mm-hmm. I'm half black, half Italian, I'm half Caucasian. <laughs> That's confusion. I'm three quarters of this. My blood, what blood, man? We all got the same blood. What nationality and seed you come from? You come from the seed of Israel. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the three fathers of promise, you are the children of promise, Israel. That's right. You're the chosen. All right? Get it in your head. Do what it says here. And the strange people of the land, from the beginning of this matter, and to the rulers of the great men, have been partakers of this iniquity. See what y'all into? Woe to you, Israel. A foolish nation, a people laden with what? Isaiah chapter 1. People laden with iniquity, man. Gotta watch your own damn people because our people love Jesus. <laughs> they love the white man. Right. And they love the damn nations over you. And this is what's going on out here. And this is why the Lord left these counsels in here. Go to First Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. What did they do back in ancient times when the prophets came to them? Huh? In Ezra's time, they did this. Second, uh, first Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. So Ezra rose up and said unto them, You have transgressed the law of in marrying strange wives. Aren't we telling y'all the same thing? Mm-hmm. That's what Ezra said to our people. Thereby, to increase 
increase the sins of Israel. Mm -hmm. So we teach it against that, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. and integrate. See what it says here? And now by confessing, give glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshua of our fathers. Have our people done this yet? No. You're still running around in orders. And do his will. And separate yourselves from the heathen. Whoa, whoa, whoa what? Mm -hmm. Don't get offended now. Mm -hmm. Separate yourselves from these heathens. That goes for all of you that acknowledge your Israel. Mm -hmm. From Judah down to Issachar. That's right. If you don't separate, the Lord says his anger is going to come down on you because you're following your wives' gods or that thing called a husband. You're following his gods. And the anger of the Lord is going to be kindled against you. You know what it says? Separate yourselves from the heathen of the land and from the strange women. They cried the whole multitude and said with a loud voice, like as thou hast spoken, so will we do. See? The doers of the word of the law shall be justified. So when we do that, most high loves that. Now let's go to Nehemiah chapter 13, verse what? 23. Look at this prophecy in his day. I'm going to be Nehemiah for a minute. Here I go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to travel. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going down here. Let me see. I'm going to put it together. Let me see what I'll see. Yes, mm. The Lord sent me on a mission. I'm going to be Nehemiah. Chapter 13, verse 23. So, I'm going to go to Atlanta, Georgia. And what am I seeing down here? Let me see. Oh! I'm on the main boulevard of Atlanta, Georgia right now. Imagine, imagine this. We out there turning up, and we standing there looking at our people. Guess what we see? And in those days, saw so I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod. <laughs> Don't we see this today, people? We see our people, our brothers, with Egyptian women, women from Ashdod, which are Canaanite women, and y'all go to Africa and get them damn smoke damn people, and you bring them over here thinking that they're Israelite women. You're breaking the most high commandments and you ain't in it. Okay? Don't go to college thinking you're getting some knowledge up there and you running around and talking about we are on a higher an echelon of understanding. You in a gutter with yours. Because that's sin and iniquity. And the more you mix in with the nations, the more the most high going to be pissed off at us. Mm -hmm. See what it says here? And of um, Ammon, who are the Ammonites? Japanese women. Japanese women eat cooked food. I want to get Japanese food. I want to have Japanese women with cheeky eyes. Babies come out with long hair. That's what y'all doing. Or more by gosh. Why are you eating a look? Oh, I got me a more by woman. You got coronavirus. End up in a damn, damn mall in the morgue, man. Why you think the Lord put that stuff on them damn people? Because they eat rats, cats, dogs, tanglings, and all type of abominations. And you going all up in her body. Good luck, brother. See what it says here? And of Moab. And their children spake half of the speech of Ashkar. Can you imagine that? Don't give me your big you for Shut them up. They don't say Shalom. They don't say the Shalom Yahweh. They don't know the Most High's name, Yahweh. They call their God by other names. And then your kids learn that crap. And what do they turn into? Colonial Negroes. West, I wonder what Serena Williams and her husband celebrate the house. Mm -hmm. Somebody need to get a camera and put in there and follow her around with that white boy. And I bet you she's doing all type of creepy things in the bed with that damn devil. Mm -hmm. Because she's ignorant and she don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay? And according to the language of each people, that's confusion. Don't you see that's why our people are ignorant now? We don't know how to speak Lashabak or Dots. Why? Because a white man took our nationality, he took our language, he put us in captivity. Now he let us out and he created these things up here called colonial Negroes. The only ones doing right is this brother and sister right here. That's an example to be. From the tribe or, or brother and sister from your nation, that's how we're supposed to look. 
in the Lord. So all the seed of Israel be justified and shall have to have. So this ain't glory, people. We don't have glory in the hall of our Shema Hashem because he's coming back here to save a remnant of Israel and the seed is going to be accounted for the ones that's coming back here now, the children of promise, and those that wake up to return to him to receive these blessings from the heavenly fathers, new kingdom coming through the That's right. In the name of the Hall of Shema Hashem, I teach you the counsel of this Bible. Y'all know what time it is, right? Hosea, chapter 10, verse 12. Hosea, chapter 10, verse 12. It's time for you to seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Till he come. And he come Amen. and reign righteousness upon you. What yes, sir? Yes, sir. Bahashim, the Hawashah, 